Hey guys, this is Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed on this fantastic Friday. TGIF is that weekend, baby. I'm doing blessed and hope the same for you. And if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings to you. And many more are yet to come. And namaste also for dos times. Um, if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell um, when you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel free, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the positive feedback. And even if you resonate with my video, please give me a big fat thumbs up. And for my returning subs, thank you for stopping by for the love and support. I, I love that for the love and support. Um, namaste, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you also. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, signs to know that you're a witch. I'm not talking about that, you know, <laughs> the dark side and stuff like that. You know, I'm talking about the positive stuff like, you know, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Bewitch, Samantha, you know, charm and stuff like well charm they they dabbled in what you know i'm saying just you know the white magic stuff um as a child you know what i just dealt with a lot of different things and the other day um i was watching a video that kept coming up well actually a few of them kept coming up on my um my timeline uh on youtube about different stuff about telling you if you're a witch or not and I'm just like, you know what, I already got so many different daggone hats that I wear as, you know, uh, empath, health empath, you know, indigo, NFJ, INFJs, all that different stuff, twin flame, you know, I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I'll entertain this, I'll go ahead and go. And it just had me thinking about everything from, you know, basically as a child that, you know, I went through that really could not be explained, it was strange, you know, my mom always did the little side eye, like, okay you know but she was very superstitious so she always felt like i was a special child anyway like that so um as a child i always used to used to dabble in things it's just like you know i always can tell when it was about to rain or snow and my mom's like how do you know it's just like i don't know i can smell it or you you know that's one sign that you know that you're a witch um your body is able to tell you when drastic weather changes are going on they let you know it's like now it's like my body will ache or i will smell it in the air and i'm just you know i'm like oh we're about to get some rain and i'm like it's sunny right now and i'm just like i know but it's gonna rain soon the next thing you know like 20 30 minutes later here it comes or the next day here it comes and it was just crazy i could sit up here and say you know you think we're probably gonna get snow this time and i was like no you know because where we're at in the south it you know i've been here for like seven years and probably seen snow like twice twice so me coming from the midwest where you know we would be shut down for like three weeks at a time at blizzards <laughs> that was just so crazy um especially around this time of year so i got spoiled we, we just deal with the freezing cold and that's pretty much it but you know in Atlanta it snows like crazy so but um yeah I was just sitting up here thinking about that the other day and I said you know what I need to go ahead and make a video about that because I kept on hearing it in my head you need to go ahead and make a video about that you know because it's, it's just been things that I was just thinking about and my daughter you know we picked out a movie and she was like wow well, you know we do a lot of uh when I'm not really busy we just go ahead and do a, a lot of mommy daughter uh, movie days and she just loves those horror movies i'm like can we please get out the horror movies but that's what she loves so we were watching um american horror story the coven and i was just like you know i can really relate to these girls you know it's just like things that you know it's all in the mind you know in the mind situation that things can do things you know you can do things that you're not you don't know you're able to do it's just certain things you're you're able to do and you you know, it cannot be explained to people that are not used to stuff like that. So it was just like really crazy because it's like as a child, there were certain places I wouldn't go or I always try to have. Um, uh, there are certain places, you, you know, you just wouldn't go and it's like I would see things like my mom was like, how are you able to see things? And it's just like I would see things like back in the day 
like when they were just riding on horses and had the mask with the shields and stuff like that and certain things I would you know I was just tell my mom it's like mom they did a lot of fighting and killing here I don't want to go and she was just like how would you know that and it was just like I don't know but it's just I would see it and I would back away or if I see somebody sad or sick I will always try to pray for them that's another sign uh when witches is just like they are always are trying to heal things you know whether it's animals or people or anything you will always try to make sure you take their pain away you, we just don't like seeing that and it's just like lately since my journey i've been watching a lot of uh animal videos and i've never been you know dealing with that like different kind of animals and you know how they've been saved and you know the courageous things they do and the sad things that happen and really affect me either positive or negative you know especially when they get hurt i, I just that's just something i just you know did, didn't want to deal with but another sign is just like between the weather you know basically the sight you know it's, it's like clairvoyant you're able to see things and it's just sometimes you're able to uh you know know what people are thinking and sometimes you don't want to do that it's just like certain things you don't want to know but it happens that sometimes um and it's just like you always got to protect your energy and it's just like with being an empath that's really sensitive already as it is and you know between the animals you know when the weather is going to change and also i had a thing about collecting rocks when I was little, like these really exotic looking rocks. Mom, I'm like, where do you find these things? And they look like crystals or whatever. And I'm like, mom, these are so pretty. Like I would find um, like little crystals that would be pink. And I can't remember where I found them from, but she was just like, oh my gosh, these are so special. And I, I used to always be drawn to them. And it was another thing. You'll be drawn to like strange kind of rocks and crystals and stuff like that. Um, and you're just knowing just it's just like you're very sensitive around certain things and this is like, I always wondered why I always wanted to dress up like a witch and you know I watched a lot of shows like the you know I uh, charmed and teenage witch Sabrina the teenage witch um I watched this movie like late in the day late late in the 80s not late in the day but late in the 80s um called um teenage witch and I love that movie. Like, my mom was like, if you don't stop playing that daggone movie, if it wasn't that, it was The Craft. Um, um, Hocus Pocus. Uh, I forgot that other one with, um, it was Cher and all of them. I can't remember which one it was, but I love that movie. Um, and it just really seemed interesting to me that, you know, I was just like, you know, what, I want to make a video about this. It's just like, you know, because other people might be going through the same things and wondering why they're attracted to the things that are unknown. And, you know, it's so taboo because it's just like, you know, everything has a light and a dark to it. And it's like, you know, when I went to Louisiana a few years ago. And it was like I was walking down Bourbon Street and it was just so many things I felt and just didn't know you know this is where they made matter of fact they made uh american horror story the coven on bourbon street a lot of the you know the situ you know a lot of the sets were over there and i'm just like oh my gosh i was showing my daughter we were right there and showing her pictures and stuff like that i'm just like you know we've been here before and i'm wondering why you know it was just like when we went to new orleans i was telling my fiance at the time um I said, you know what? I feel like I have family here. But when I seen them, they were back in, you know, the days when they wore the the, the turban like things on their heads and the, the fawn out dresses and stuff. Like I was looking like back in the early 1900s when I, used, you know, when I went down there and I started seeing these things and all that and just didn't know. I was so upset because I was like, dang, I always wanted to go uh, see the Dauphine um, Lalaurie. Um house and you know all the stuff that they had set up in there and i never got a chance to see that so i was just like oh my gosh i want to see these things so guys if you you know if you have anything that you resonate with like that and you might never know you you know it's just like now it's, it's like certain things i'm just still finding out about my family so i need to go ahead and read and do some more research and see because you never know <laughs> we might have some little witches or something like that back in the day because it's just like certain things that my daughters do i'm just like mm -hmm. 
you know, it, it is passed on to them as well. So it's just certain things that they do. I just, I just have to sit there and, you know, I just don't say anything because they're like, mom, I don't believe and stuff like that. And it's just like, whatever. I'll say, you know, when it's your chance to do it, you, you'll find out or not. But I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. And I hope you guys have a safe, blessed weekend. And I will keep you guys in my prayers as always. And hope you keep me in your prayers the same. And please, if you have not, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button. And even hit that bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. And whatever you do this weekend, please be responsible at everything you do. And please give me a thumbs up if you feel like you resonate with it. And I will talk to you on my next video. Oh, yeah. If I have not told you, I was listening to one hour Japanese instrumental music. And I'll go ahead and post that in the link down below. And I will talk to you later. Peace and you wow.